What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Cardboard Gamble. And it's been a long time since we've made a video, but as you can see, we have been busy. We haven't been sitting around lazy, not doing anything. We've been collecting, stocking, trying to find what we can, where we can, and we're going to try a new format here on the Cardboard Gamble. Um, I do owe two people a hot pack, um, and I'll t tell you more about that at the end of the video, but um, here's the new format. We're going to have all different types of sports, um, and even uh, Pokemon, whatever, this channel is called The Cardboard Gamble, so whatever we can buy and try to get a good pull from, we're going to do it. And that's just because everything is so hard to find. So when you come by something, you just have to buy it. Now, my first love, our first love, is football. And I will predominantly be trying to find football. But we're just going to open up a lot. And this is where the... I'm not just, like, bragging or showing you my haul. This is where the layout comes from. I want to get you guys more involved. I want this to kind of be, like, a, a more interactive thing. And so you know what I have... And I'm going to go through it a little bit more because I know it's probably like a little bit overwhelming to see all of it at once. And I'm going to ask you guys, what do you want to see me open? What do you want to see us open? I mean, it won't just always be me. I'll bring some of the other crew in for a few videos. But on the serious ones, it'll probably just be me. <laughs> so let me pause this and I'll reposition and then we'll go through some of it. And then you guys can vote in the comments what you want to see. What do you want to see opened? What do you want to see us get excited about, talk about? So let me just change positions here for a second. And I said that funny. Change positions here for a second. And then we'll talk about some more. So I guess first the elephant in the room is that we did manage to get six select blaster boxes. It was it was tough. Um, our mostly where we get cards now are is Meyer because our Meyer they started a thing, and I think it's all of the Myers all over the Midwest, where you get in line, 3 o'clock, they sell everything out of the electronics counter, and um, there's guys that wait there. They follow the employees in when they open in the morning. Um, so usually we're about 10 in line, um, and we get there maybe one thirty. And um, so all of us go. It's a family thing. Jack usually gets Pokemon um, or whatever. This last time, we were maybe 14 back, and they had a ton. Our saving grace was they had about 20 boxes of Prism blasters. And I told Del, I said, everyone's going to go for the Prism, so we're going to get some select because everyone's just going to grab that Prism, and then there'll be plenty left. So, of course, that's what happened. Everybody went for the Prism. And we got the, um, we got, there's, sorry, there's two per, two per person of any product. And then you can go through the line as many times as you want, as long as there's stuff left. So the first pass through, we each got two select blaster boxes. And that was probably the most fun we've ever had card hunting when that happened. Um, so those are on the list. Also on that same day, we they had uh, these Prism cellos left over, which, okay, we've never done basketball, but I know from watching videos how good those are to get, so we snagged those. Um, when we were in the dollar store one day, they had a whole bunch of these dollar store NBA hoops packs, so I thought, hey, that'll make for a fun opening. Um, and... Also, at Meyer, uh, everyone was so concerned with everything else, they didn't ask what these were. And I just said, well, what are those? Because they were tipped down like this. They said, well, what are those blue packs? 2018 playoff fat packs they happened to have there um, that day at Meyer. So we have those. Those can be one of the choices. Um, I have this one box of optic um that you can choose for me to open. Um, I have two packs of Donruss Fat Packs left. 
I guess we're doing basketball and football first. Uh, I have this lovely Leaf 2021, possibly a Trevor Lawrence. Everyone laughed at me when I picked this in line one time. They said, okay, um, but whatever, it's football. And this was a football channel, or I mean, it's predominantly a football channel. So I was like, whatever. Um, two of these uh, Premier Draft Sage. Um, uh, this is, I mean, you're guaranteed three autos whatever we'll do it we'll get into it what does it matter could be a trevor lawrence in there uh i have this leftover um playbook that nobody wants you can't even hardly give away uh so i have that if somebody wants to pick that as a joke uh i have this donruss holiday blaster left over from 2020 that i didn't touch um so maybe we'll do that at Christmas time, or if someone picks it and that's what the consensus is, we'll do that. I've got all of these score uh, from 90, and I think they're all 90, or any of them 89. Nope, they're all 90, so I got 1990 score that we can do on a fun day um, if you guys want. So I think that's it for football and basketball. Um, let me just explain, slide those, my prized possessions, out of the way and give us some space to talk. Um, alright, so I got a little bit of baseball happening. Um, they have, they had, uh, Heritage, and these are like the Mega Boxes. So these have these pretty cool, um, like blue prism kind of thing. You know, I can't say prism because it's tops, but they have like these blue refractors sort of. I guess tops would, the word would be refractors. So we got that to open and then I got a matching hanger and some matching blasters of the tops heritage, which this stuff, I mean, as readily available it is, you'd think it, it would be not as expensive, but it is like not cheap. Um, and then I got some value fat packs of heritage so got a lot of heritage baseball um and then i got one donruss which panini does not have the baseball rights obviously so you cannot see any of the logos or anything um on the donruss but still i tested a few of these out just to see what they were and the i mean these the cards just look nicer like they just have good like there's numbered parallels there's Good inserts, they're just flashier, shinier, better cards, and there's just really nowhere, no way around that. Then we also have a Tops. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, Shining Fates. We also have a Tops um, hanger of baseball. So that's pretty much the baseball section. Now, the Pokemon section is pretty pumped. Uh, we do. We do do a lot of, like, off-screen Pokemon opening because Jack's really into it. So I'm just going to go through that really super quick. Um, we'll start with a little stuff. We have, if I can grab this nicely, we have, this is from Big Lots. Um, it's just a repack, and I honestly, oh, something's up with the focus there, sorry. I honestly don't have super high hopes for this one, so... It is what it is. This is from a cereal box. We currently do have more of the cereal, so I will have more of these packs. And there's like three cards in here, but I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty pretty neat for a cereal box, and I, people were actually buying them like crazy. So that just shows you the state of the hobby. We have two Shining Fates, uh, Mr. Rhyme and Bonnelby, um, little pin collections. You get a little, a little pin, that one's kind of messed up there. Um, we have a Champion's Path, which I'm somewhat excited about, because it's hard to find retail Champion's Path. Um, I found this at Target on a random day. Uh, I think people sometimes forget, like, when you go into Target to go back to the, the toy section, and they might have some stuff there. But anyways, that has four packs. And some other good things. We have two of these Shining Fates Pikachus. So maybe one day we could do like a a little, uh, I don't know, battle of sorts. 
Pikachu versus Pikachu. I don't know, it sounds weird. Um, and we have, I'm going to have to stand up for the rest of this stuff, so excuse me for a second. We have that, 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 and that. So this was really cool too. This, <laughs> I have to say one time we were in the line and I had like my first choice and I picked this Blastoise VMAX box and I, <laughs> some of the guys there are like pretty hardcore and they were laughing at me because this is what I picked for my first choice, but I thought it was cool, and there was only one. <laughs> so, whatever. It is what it is. Don't hate. Got two of these. This is hard to keep get this on camera. Sorry. We got two of these uh, blue Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, What are these called? I can't. Yeah, that's odd. The sound cut out, and I'm not exactly sure why. So I'm just going to kind of go off the cuff on this and explain what else I have, which is um, this blister pack. And then also I have these uh, two ETB boxes, um, one Shining Fates and one Battle Styles. So we're going to open up those as well. But right now I want to get into the giveaway that I promised you guys. We're going to give away two hot packs and I'm going to insert a clip here or it's probably going to be like the entire end of the video because there's no sound in this part. And so after the giveaway, that'll be the end of the video and um, we'll get into that like probably like right about now. I think I've got this figured out where it's just going to record my screen. We'll see how this goes. Um, so right now we're at 152 subscribers and I promised two hot packs if I made it to 150 subscribers. So we're going to go to this giveaway. Um, and then I don't know why it's like in the middle, but okay. Um, we're going to pick the link here. We're going to go to the YouTube comment picker. We're going to paste it. Filter duplicates. Um, I don't. I'm, I don't know how to exclude me, but if I come up, I'll just do another one. So, here's the comments. We have forty of them. So we have a one in twenty chance of winning a hot pack. Let's see who the first winner is, and it's going to be Tommy TX. He says my favorite card has to be the Matthew Stafford from Unparalleled. Glad to see him go. Think he's underrated and deserves a ring. I agree with that. And just want to let you know, if you get haters, it only means you're doing something right. So, Tommy TX, get a hold of me on Instagram or probably email on here. I I post my my email on all of my videos. I don't really understand the whole Instagram thing. I know I'm like making myself seem old, but it's just there's a lot going on. There's so many people. There's so many tags. There's so many so much. I don't know. So email is probably better off of YouTube. And the same goes for the next winner is going to be Turtle Cards 15. My favorite card was the pink no huddle Marvin Jones and I PC the Broncos. Um, so let's see. I agree with the Marvin Jones. That was a really good deal. <laughs> and, uh, same turtle cards 15 just email me probably is the best way um i put it in the the description of every one of my videos and i'm gonna have to say this disclaimer i don't think either of you are under 18 but if you are let me know and then i'll figure something out to go i don't know the rules on that so if you're under 18 just let me know um other than that Congratulations to the winners, and now that we're we're back and we're 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 going full force, there's probably going to be more giveaways. So, um, yeah.